Today I'm going to show you how to create an interactive PDF with mouse rollovers such as these. And we're going to use Adobe Illustrator and also Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. So we'll go ahead and start in Illustrator. We're going to go to File, Place, and we're going to choose just a simple background image for our scene. So we'll click and drop and drag that here and we're going to size it up so it takes up all of the artboard. We're going to come over to the Layers tab and just rename this scene and we'll rename this my map now we'll just add some map pins to our map so we'll come up to file place and just choose a map pin icon and we're going to place this around the map we're going to come down here Control c Control v to copy and paste it in a few different spots And now what we're going to do is rename these layers. So let's call this one City. We'll call this one Boating. And we'll call this one Camping. Okay, now we're just going to come over here to the Rectangle tool and select the Line Segment tool. And we're just going to create some lines going to come up to the stroke tool just to make this a bit thicker we'll select a white color and we'll create these lines a couple more times and these lines are going to come to some text that we add in next so again we need to rename these just so we know which layer matches which layer so we'll call this one camping line boating and city line What we're going to do now is bring in some text. So we're going to go to the type tool and create a text box here. I'll we'll call this one city. We're just going to make it a bit bigger. And we'll come over here and hold shift to bring down this drop dialog here and choose a white color. We'll center it. And now what we're going to do is just control C, control V on a PC to copy and paste it and just rename it and so this line that we see here and also our text they're going to appear when we scroll over the map pins so we're going to do that next when we're in Adobe Acrobat but we'll just finish off here first what we might do now is just create some background boxes for our text here just so we can see the text a bit better so it stands out so using the rectangle tool we just created this box we'll give it a color perhaps the orange color so it matches the pin we're going to come over here and rename it so that we know uh, which text this box is for so this is for the city this is for the city um, text rollover we're going to drag and bring it down underneath the city layer there so it stands out and copy and paste and do the same thing again for the other layers so just need to rename them so we keep everything nice and neat because after this we're going to group the layers together and we're dragging it down underneath our text layers copying and pasting one more time bring it underneath and this all looks good so what we need to do next is you can see here we've got quite a number of layers we need to group these layers so we're going to come down to create new layer and create a layer outside of our scene group so we'll call this one the city hover so this is going to be um, the layers that appear when we roll over the map point for the city so we're going to select them all control click on a PC and click and drag and drop into the city hover box and now you can see they're all grouped in there we can turn that on and off so that's how it's going to appear when we roll over this map pin it's going to appear like this but that's the next step so we'll create another layer for our last two here so our boating hover we're going to select our boating layers 
I'll control and select them all and click and drag and drop them in to that so they're all working fine and we're going to create a new layer one more time and we're going to drop the camping layers into there and so that's all working fine we're going to leave our map pins here because we want them to be visible at all times but we need to turn off these top three layers that we've created in order for Adobe Acrobat to be able to make them appear when we roll over them. So we're going to turn them off. And now we're going to save this as a PDF. I'll just give it a name. And we'll save this. Now here is a setting that we need to make sure is always checked for this to work properly. Create Acrobat layers from top level layers. That needs to be ticked. You can choose any compression settings you want in there, but that bottom setting I just mentioned has to be enabled for this to work properly. So we'll save that. We'll come into Acrobat Pro and open our map that we just saved. And then we're going to come over here to this view layers tab we're going to click on this and you'll see here that we have our three layers that we can turn on our camping city and boating layers if you don't have these visible here it means you haven't set up the pdf properly in illustrator so you have to go back and do that again we're going to come into tools and click on prepare form and then click start and now we're going to create our hover zones for the rollovers. So first we need to turn on this first one here, city hover. And we're going to come up to the button tool here. We're going to click this. And now we're going to draw the zone where we want the mouse to roll over and activate the text. So we'll call this city hover. We'll click on properties. We want to get rid of that gray background. So we'll come to appearance, click fill color and no color. And in options, you need to make sure label only is selected. Now we need to set here mouse enter. And for our select action, we need to scroll down and choose set layer visibility. And we now click add. And click OK. And now we can now close this box. Now what we have to do is come over and turn this layer off, come back into the hover box we just created. But for the trigger, we need to choose mouse exit and set layer visibility, add. And that one is now complete. So we're gonna do the same steps again for the other two layers here. So the boating hover will come up. We're choosing the button. We're drawing our rollover zone. So the zone the mouse will We'll go over to bring up the text. We're going to get rid of the fill color here. And we're going to click mouse enter for the trigger and set layer visibility add. Click OK and close that. We'll turn off the layer, come back into the layer and mouse exit add. Now that one is also complete. So we're going to do our final layer now, the camping hover. We'll draw our hover zone here. We'll get rid of the background fill color. And we want to set mouse enter to enable this to appear when we roll over. Now we're going to close it, turn off the layer come back into it and on mouse exit click add so this will enable it to uh, the text to disappear once the mouse moves off it so we're going to come to preview here and you'll be able to see our finished product thank you